we pay for the fence. May fires back at Macron over claims UK should pay more for Calais. The president is expected to order Mrs May to pay more for improved border security across the channel, as well as allowing lone children as well as adult refugees with family members into to the UK, in a meeting on Thursday. When quizzed over whether Britain would cough up more cash as part of the 2003 UK Accord, Theresa May's spokesman said, This is an agreement which has served both sides well since its inception. I would point out the fact that we have provided help already such as through the provision of extra security fencing. Following the crackdown on the sprawling migrant camp dubbed the Jungle in October 2016, migrants in the region have struggled to find shelter and face routine raids by police if found sleeping rough. Emmanuel Macron is reported to be willing to give approval to a favorable Brexit trade deal if the nation assists in housing the migrants. The French centrist is expected to ask Mrs May more and more money, which will add to the pound 124 million British taxpayers have handed over in the last three years for security in Calais. Interior Minister Gerard Collomb said it was time for Britain to take responsibility for a certain number of costs and for a greater number of people by virtue of the reception of refugees and lone children. He added, there will always be migrants who want to go to England. Those who are still sleeping outside don't want to present themselves to asylum centers because they have no intention of asking for asylum in France. The Elysee also confirmed Mr Macron is keen for Mrs May to speed up the transfer of adult migrants to Britain with legitimate reasons to go there such as family ties and to accept more unaccompanied minors and faster. A Paris source told Le Monde, there is a very strong insistence from the French side. I'm not saying there is resistance on the British side, rather they are actively listening. The Elysee added, it is on the president's insistence that the migrant issue was added to the order of the day. Downing Street said the meeting between the leaders at Sandhurst on Thursday would be broadened to cover the full spectrum of the UK-France bilateral relationship including prosperity, innovation, science and education. It added. The summit will underline that the UK-France bilateral relationship will continue to go from strength to strength following the UK's departure from the EU.